everyone, it's me, psychic medium Jessica Nightingale on Wednesday, December the 21st, 2016. And it is official, people. Mercury is now in retrograde. Ba -dum -bum -bum. So what does that mean for you and I? How does Mercury, the planet that rules communication, affect us when it seems to go backwards or retrograde in the sky? Well, like I said, Mercury is the planet that rules communication. So Mer Mercury's energy typically supports us in our ability to communicate with each other, our ability to speak our truth, our ability to form thoughts and then be able to communicate them, our ability to connect with ourselves and communicate with ourselves, our ability to connect with our guides, our angels, our spirit team and spirit in general, to be able to get information from them as well. Everything for the next couple of weeks is now challenged in that arena, in the communication arena with Mercury retrograde. So what does this mean? And what does spirit really want us to know about how to approach this energy for the next couple of weeks? So many people you'll see on the internet, on Facebook or on Google or wherever you are, social media, often give Mercury retrograde a bad rap. You'll see that communication is really badly affected and that, you know, our plans are always going to be coming, falling apart at the seams or our computer may break or we may lose our phone. And yes, that's all true. But on the flip side of, of Mercury retrograde, we're really learning to go with the flow right now to be able to relax, lay back on that, you know, that blow up tube, the donut in the water and just chill out and go down, go down the meandering, you know, river on that lovely blow up donut. <laughs> As you can see, communication is slightly affected, but really it is a time for us uh, and we're very well supported to just chill out, go with the flow. And this is really an opportunity to have a good look at what spirit wants for our lives or the, the way that our lives are unfolding versus what we're trying to implement or what we're trying to enact control over. Because right now we just don't have a lot of control over our lives, over our communications, over how other people receive our communications. So it's a time to just chill out, kick back, relax, and become more of an observer of your life than an initiator in your life for the next two and a half weeks or so. So just relax everyone through this. Find your sense of humor through this. That's going to be paramount. Don't take anything too seriously right now, but don't close your eyes either. Because while we're not able to initiate any real change or really have kind of a strong vibe or a clear picture of where things are going in our lives, because things just aren't unfolding the way that we thought they were going to unfold in this two week period, while we're feeling disconnected, spirit is never disconnected from us and will always be interacting with us and always moving our lives forward in the way that is going to be best for us. So sit back and pay attention to that more this week, you know, and see where you're resisting spirit's ability to unfold your life in a really beautiful, positive way. See where you're, you know, blocking that from happening and see where your behaviors, habits, feelings, you know, ideals are blocking spirit's ability to really beautify your life and take over and, and find your faith in the next couple of weeks. Have faith in what spirit's up to. Have faith that everything really is going to turn out more positively than you could imagine. But over the next three weeks, you're just not really going to see how that's all going to shape up. This really is a measure of faith for you, of not being able to predict, of not being able to see forward. So chill out, relax, enjoy the ride, find your sense of humor. And above all, take really good care of yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with others, especially when it comes to communication in all of its forms. And you'll make out just fine. Of course, if you are struggling more than most and you are looking for that intuitive guidance or you do want some clarity from your guides, you're always welcome to book me for a reading. Uh, Mercury retrograde can be a difficult time for me to communicate what I'm seeing, but it definitely doesn't cut off the link that I always have. So please reach out for an email reading if you're feeling you need one in the next two and a half weeks. Take care, everyone. Good luck. Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays for everyone else that are celebrating all sorts of different holidays over the next couple of weeks. Many blessings and bye-bye.